Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'll be making a Christmas card using some of the new products from Pretty Pink Posh's Christmas release. So here's one of the products I'll be using. It's called the Layer Winter Wreath Stencil. This is a layered stencil. There are three stencils in this set. So when you layer these up, you can get a beautiful wreath with pine leaves and hollies and berries. And then I'm also going to be using the Build a Stocking die set. It looks like this. There are a few different stockings in this set and you can layer up cardstock to create colorful stockings for your cards or projects. I'm also going to be using the Sentiment Strips for Christmas stamp set. There's so many different Christmas sentiments, holiday sentiments, winter sentiments that you can use here. And I love these sentiments because you can pair them with larger word dies that might be sentiments. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. These sentiments also have a corresponding pack of dies that you can use to cut them out. You have all of these different sized and style rectangles from straight edge to stitched rectangles to rectangles with fishtail ends and there's also some scalloped rectangles in here that you can use these to die cut the sentiments. And I'll be coupling a sentiment with this Mary script word die that I've already die cut out of some gold mirror cardstock. So I'm going to start out using the stencil and I went ahead and cut my cardstock so that it measures six by six inches, which is the same exact size as the stencil. Now you can always cut this down and that's what I'm going to be doing because I'll be making an A2 size card. I just wanted you to see the full effect of the wreath before I trim the panel down. So that's why I'm using a six by six piece of cardstock here. So here's my first layer and I'm coloring up all of these pine leaves with Pink Fresh Studio Olive ink. I'll also be using the Grassy Knoll ink and the Fresh Pear ink. So these are three different green inks and I'm using a dark, a medium, and a light because I want to have different shades of green so that the leaves look like they have some shading applied. So I added the darker green towards the bottom of those leaves and then I'm adding the medium shade towards the top of the leaf and then I'm going to come in with my lightest green ink which is the Fresh Pear and I'm going to go over those holly leaves. So I wanted to have a shading effect with these leaves just because I think adding shading it just gives the card a lot of dimension. And I am using the same finger dauber. I'm just cleaning it off between the inks that I'm using just so that when I go into the lightest ink I don't have that darker ink still on the tip of the finger dauber but because it's in the same color family I am using the same finger dauber for all three inks. So there's the first layer. Now I'm going to find my next layer and here I'm using the actual wreath shape which is the circular shape so I'm just lining that up. And then for this one, I'm using the Driftwood ink from scrapbook.com. This is a light brown ink. So this is actually inking up all of the branches and stems. So this stencil layer is actually layer C. You can do these in any order as long as you just line each stencil up each time and then you'll be good to go and making sure that you ink them up in the right spots. And for those of you who have never used Pretty Pink Posh stencils, they are labeled on the stencil. So each one is labeled either A, B, or C. So I'll go ahead and remove that stencil and now I'm going to line the next stencil up. This is the stencil with all of the berries and I'll ink this stencil up with my scrapbook.com cardinal red ink. So all of these berries will be red so I'll just go over all of the openings here and color up all of these berries with my red ink. 
Now I'm ready to work on my stockings. I went ahead and did some die cutting and I have the dies here so you can see which dies I used for each piece that I cut out. So my stockings are going to be red and green, but I'm adding some ink to the edges so that I can add some depth to these stockings. So you can see just adding a little bit of ink there, it just adds so much more interest to that stocking. I love these dies because you can put them together with different color cardstock, and it, they, the dies also have these embossed lines on them so you can really see those embossed lines on the cardstock and I love that look so it's not just a flat piece of cardstock that's cut out it actually has the detail so here I'm just inking up some more of these little pieces and then I also have this die that I die cut the solid backing and then the polka dot with the green that I'll layer on top. So I'm gonna ink up the edges here. And to save some time, I'll do the rest off camera. So now I'm gonna put the stockings together. So I'm gonna add the solid green cuff with the scalloped edge to the solid uh, red stocking and I'll add the little loop there at the top where you hang the stocking from and then I'll do the same thing for the next stocking by just adding the green polka dot layering piece over top of the solid red stocking and then I'll add the cuff and all of the other pieces. So I love how you can actually use any color cardstock that you want and make these stockings any color that you want because of all of the different dies that are included to piece them together. And these are so easy to put together because there's not a lot of dies involved. There's only a few and they're pretty simple to figure out where they go. So there's my two stockings. And now I'm going to use a rectangle die and I'm going to cut out the center of my wreath. So you can see what the entire wreath looks like there on a six by six piece of cardstock, but you can just use your rectangle dies to cut out the portion that you want to use. Now I love this wreath because it also has the center. So if you wanted just to put a word die or a stamped sentiment on the inside, you can do that because there's space for it. But instead, I'm going to put my stockings on the inside of that circle part of my wreath. So I'm gonna glue one down flat to the cardstock and the other one will be layered over top of it. I'm going to stamp out a small sentiment from the Sentiment Strips Christmas stamp set. I am gonna do some heat embossing. So I did add some powder to my cardstock just so that the embossing powder doesn't stick where there's no ink. And I'm using my Versamark ink to ink up my sentiment stamp. And I'm going to sprinkle some gold embossing powder over top of that sentiment. And then I will heat set that. So these sentiment stamps have some corresponding dies that you can use to cut these out. And I'm gonna just use a solid rectangle to cut that out into a rectangle. And this sentiment says Merriest Christmas Wishes, but I'm gonna cut off the word Merriest and just leave the words Christmas Wishes because I'm also going to be using the word Mary from the Mary script word die. And I die cut that word Mary from some gold mirror cardstock. So I have the gold word plus the gold heat embossed stamped sentiment, which match each other. So I'll go ahead and put glue on the back of the word Mary and I'm gonna add that to my card. Next, I'll go ahead and add that layer to a red piece of cardstock. The red cardstock measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and then I'll add that to an A2 size card base. So my card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Next, I'm taking a white gel pen and just adding some white accents to my stockings. I'm also going to add some of my Brutus Monroe glitter glaze. I love this glitter glaze and I use it on so many things because it just adds a beautiful glittery shine 
to your cardstock. So I'm just choosing my finger here and just dabbing it in the glitter glaze and rubbing it on. And this is not going to come off. It will dry and the glitter, it does not come off on other things. So that will complete my card. I will have product links down in the description box of this YouTube video if you're interested in anything that I've used today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, please click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.